everyone, how are you doing? Dan here, and thank you very much for stopping by on this video. On this channel, you're going to find lots of videos about the DJI Mini 2 and also filmmaking in general, which I want to be doing a little bit more of too as well. So today we're going to have a quick look at how to manage your storage and your cache on your DJI Mini 2 to make sure you're not running out of space on your micro SD cards or your phone. So once you get your brand new drone and you're here, there, flying absolutely everywhere you can, of course legally and safely, you're going to very quickly encounter that you're running out of storage on your drone and your phone, and um, pretty much anything really. It's not too bad if you're running out of storage on your drone, and um, there's a few ways to sort that out. Um, if you just press this album button down here and make sure you're on aircraft, this is all the items I've got on my drone. And if I want to delete something, for example, this 17 second clip here or this five minute clip, I can just click on it and press delete. Um, I'm not going to delete it because I actually need it. Um, but there's that there for if you want to manage that. You can also manage this on your laptop, your computer, anything with a micro SD card reader will be able to sort this issue out. Now the problem is, is the cache. So the cache stores a low resolution file of your media, whether this is a picture or a video, it's gonna store it on the phone so you can quickly access it once you've finished shooting. And it's pretty much instant. Just before we go any further, you might want to just double check your cache is turned on. So if we go to the menu and go to camera and scroll all the way down, you'll see cache when recording. And this um, just allows this proxy file to be created and you can also set a maximum video cache capacity. I can't say that's worked for me because when I checked my cache yesterday, it was 3.4 gig, I think, um, and it was set to two gig. So maybe I've done something wrong there, um, but that's how you just make sure it's turned on. And I would recommend you turn it on. If anything, it's a backup of your files in case anything goes wrong with the drone and the micro SD card there. Of course, it's not a full resolution backup, but it's better than nothing. Now, once we go to the album, you can either do that from this little play button here on the shoot screen, or you can go back to the menu and press album. Now you're gonna be greeted by these two options at the top, aircraft and DJI fly. Anything what's on the aircraft tab is on the SD card currently. So if you want to delete it, that's how you can do that. But anything what's stored on the phone will be on the DJI fly tab. So here are all my shots, which I've got on my cache. Um, now there's quite a few of them as you can see it goes back quite a while, hope that was a video from last week. Um, this was Macclesfield Forest, um, but I can just put, pretty much click on any of these and just have a quick look back at what I was shooting on that day. Now of course this takes up a lot of memory on your phone, which is fine, you know you might have a 256 gig gigabyte phone and then stuff like this isn't a problem. But is what you can do is you can just delete shots from here you know you don't need anymore. Because um, like I say, it's only a proxy file. This is never going to be the full resolution media unless you download it from the drone to the phone. Um, so this is, as I said, just a proxy file. So just with the cache, if you are realizing your phone's getting a bit full and you know, you've not got any more data to store anything else, maybe you've realized you can't do other things in other apps anymore, you can actually clear the cache very quickly and easily. So if you go to profile at the bottom and then go down to settings and then just scroll down to clear cache, and you can actually select which bits you want to delete. So for example, you can clear your video, which for me, it's 3.25 gig, which is quite a lot of um, storage being taken up. My phone's only 64 gigabytes, so um, that's definitely something I'd think about. Um, you can also clear the photos, music, if you've put some on there for your um, editing. Um, you can delete the firmware package, because once you've updated your firmware, you don't need that on the drone. I'm not gonna delete anything at the moment because I'm fairly happy with what I've got. But if you ever want to make more space on your device, this is a way you can do it and ensure um, you're gonna be able to get more and more drone footage and images, which is exactly what we want. Just before we go any further, if you do want to see more videos about drones and filmmaking, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. That would be absolutely amazing, thank you. We've just broke 800 subscribers, so we're getting very close to the 1000 mark. By the time this video gets uploaded, Hopefully we're around 900, fingers crossed. But as mentioned in a couple of my previous videos, once I get to a thousand, I'm gonna be looking at doing some sort of DJI Mini 2 accessory giveaway. So definitely keep an eye out for that. We'll be getting there very shortly, which is absolutely amazing and thank you again. And finally, I've got a really cool drone playlist which covers photography, videography, editing, picture editing, flying your drone safely. It covers a whole range of things. Pretty much every time I make a new drone video, I pop it into this playlist. So I'll just pop that playlist up above and it's definitely something to check out, especially if you're new to flying or just want to learn a little bit more about more of the media and filmmaking side of flying the drone. And finally, if your micro SD card is full on the Mini 2, you can actually format the card. So we'll go back to the Fly app. We're gonna to go to the camera settings. We're gonna scroll down and you can see here, format. 
And once you tap that, you can just confirm it. Now just make sure you've backed everything up because once you format your card, you're not gonna be able to get it back. If you're like me and you've got a couple of devices which use micro SD cards, make sure you format it when you put it into another type of camera. So for, for example, if you're going from a GoPro to a Mini 2, just make sure you format it so it's set for that camera. Now, normally you'll find there's not any particular problems if you don't format it, but sometimes the card systems can get a little bit confused. In the older days of cameras, if you put a card from, say, a sound recorder to a camera, sometimes your files wouldn't even show up. It's just something to get into a good habit with just so you don't ever encounter a problem like that. But that's pretty much it for the cache and the storage on the SD card. So, like I was saying, this is probably one of the most useful things you can do. It's probably something you knew you could do, but now it's all there and it's all been explained. Hopefully it's something you can kind of keep on top of and never run out of memory. For me, I do a lot of recording on my phone screen as I'm recording now. And the amount of times I run out of storage and lose my recording, it happens too often. So doing stuff like this, and I should do it a bit more too, but it can just really um, keep you on top of storage issues. So we're getting very close to the end of this video now. So all what's left to say is thank you very much for watching. I really hope you liked this content and learned something new. If you did, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. That'd be absolutely amazing and I do greatly appreciate it. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.